Okay, so I'm back again with another pour video. So today I am doing like a bunch of colors. As you can see here, my array of colors. I have what, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 different colors that we will be working with. Technically, count of 14 different colors because one of the colors is white and white is really not a color. But I mean, people will argue that it is a color. I don't know. But we're going to say about 15 different colors here. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Like, you know, it's not even, I don't even have that much to even say. Um, we're just going to do this dirty flip cup pour. So I'm using this big, what, 18 ounce cup with and putting all the colors in there um size this is a 10 by 10 can so i probably just need about 10 ounces of paint to kind of cover it all and that's a lot of paint guys because one tube of paint let me show you like one tube of paint like this that's in the store that's like ten dollars this one tube of paint is only two ounces so to cover this i need like 10 ounces of this paint so I need five tubes of this and it's ten dollars so that's like fifty dollars so I need to I gotta like keep that in consideration sometimes because I'll be like spending all this money money ooh, ooh. so right now I'm just adding some silicone to everything because I did not add it when I was um mixing up my paint so I think I hit all of those so I'm going to go ahead and add it now. I need to add a lot in this white. Because I have a lot of white. Um, Alright. That should be enough. Oh, and you know what I like to do? Add some silicone to the bottom of the cup. That, that way I, it can help it slip off. Slip out. Get all the paint. Because like I said, this paint is expensive. So I'll be needing all of my money's worth. You know. So... That is that. And I'm going to give all these a little quick little stirry stir with the silicone in there. And I really, I have some like really pretty colors here, guys. I really, I mean, in fact, if I must say so myself, I, I kind of did that thing with the colors today. I was just doing whatever I felt, you know rocked my boat today whatever rocks your boat and these colors kind of just I'm just experimenting I gotta always tell you in every tutorial I'm just experimenting and you know seeing what works what doesn't work trying different brands trying different techniques trying different mediums I'm just like testing it all out guys testing it all out alright so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the dirty pour so first I'm going to Pour in some white. I made a lot of white too. So I'm gonna pull it at the bottom like that. Uh huh. That's good. So that's titanium white. Now I'm going to pour in some purple. Dita. Oh, that's pretty. Some of that purple. Can you see? know where to hold it up and I'm gonna use some of this other um, variation of purple and I have some interference blue mm, pretty. now I have some portrait pink mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna use all of that right now not a lot. I don't have a lot of this, so I'm just gonna pour all of this in there. Why not? All right. And then I have another variation of that portrait pink with some red. And then I have some more of that portrait that I've 
it made it more like a ooh, ooh, tan I added some like orange to it now I have um, some iridescent bronze color here and when I put some of my um, GAC 800 it kind of made the color like a little cloudy so I'm hoping that when it dries it comes back like that vibrant iridescent bronze color comes back now this is the copper I'm going to be using I don't know um, let's go with this metallic cold board cold dot this metallic blue let's go with this metallic blue it's really 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 pretty I'm gonna go pour you all that in too actually why not why not you know you know and let me just put some iridescent blue right on top of that okay. I'll try to scrape the rest of that out later and then I have some other I have like some turquoise aqua green uh -oh. Uh -oh. and then I have just some teal turquoise actually I don't know if it's teal or turquoise and then I have some more of that with some yellow and this is a little thick pour it up from high up okay next I'm going to use um I have some plain iridescent medium here so let me pour all of that go ahead and just get happy with that one Okay, and then let's put some more white in it right about now. Ooh, that was a lot of white, huh? Mm. Mm. Let me try to get the rest of this out. This is going to be very interesting. I'm hoping that this comes out really cool because you know I like to do all of my pours in um in three rounds. So this is the first of this round. So I just wanna I just hope it comes out cool. I'm hoping this is enough paint. I'm not sure if we're there yet or not. I don't I can't really tell. But I think we may be. We may be there. Let me put some of this in there. And then. Alright. That might be enough. I don't know. It's not really. It is kind of halfway. So it might be enough. There's no more of this in here, huh? Alright. So we're going to hope that that's enough. So. Underneath my canvas today, I have um, like a little foil pen. Like somebody on Instagram had mentioned that I should try catching the paint with this. And I was like, hey, that's not a bad idea. I think I might take you up on that. So that's what I have underneath here so I can catch the paint, easy cleanup, and then also, you know, I can catch the paint and, you know, use it. Because like I said, this paint is expensive. Alright, so that is it, guys. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of the white. And I want to be very careful with this white because I do not want to contaminate it with any um, of my other colors. So I'm trying to be careful because I made a lot of white um, and I just don't want to contaminate it because I want to be able to use it again. So I'm just going to spread this around on the canvas comb side like that. Make sure I get, and this is just going to encourage 
the paint to kind of, you know, flow and whatnot. Get it on the edge. But, I mean, we might not have that problem. I don't really have that problem that much. As long as I, I use enough paint, it should be good. So. Alrighty. So, now that that's all cool out the way, let's go ahead and get this pour together. So, do like I always do. I'm going to flip my canvas on here. Alright. And boom. Drop it like that. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Alright, sorry. I'm like kind of... wipe my hands a bit and I got this red cup so I can't even see you know what's going on with the paint but like I said I did put coat the inside with like a little bit of silicone to help it to be slippery so the paint can kind of slip um off of the cup that's just what I'm thinking like I don't know if that's even gonna do anything but that's what I did so we'll see I'm just gonna give that some time and maybe add some of this iridescent, I mean, air, 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 mm, interference blue. Let me just add that, the rest of that out. So, and two, what I'm gonna do is like move the paints over that I don't have no more of because like I said I am going to repeat these colors so, I, so let me just move the paint over that I still have some left alright so I think that we've had enough time so Alright, you ready? One, two, and I'm gonna try to catch some more paint like in here. This is just me being pressed. Alright, and here we go. like what's happening here it's real I think it's really cute and look a lot of the paint got out the cup I like that too so maybe that little idea of mine's did work it did oh and I'm losing paint over here all the pretty paints like over there I'm so upset about that I'm gonna try to catch the rest all right so let me get the blow torch ready to blow up stuff you know what I'm saying let's see okay, hold on this is too high that's too bad that is pretty so let's go ahead and tilt this a little bit. That blue and teal is very overpowering. Let me get over here. Okay, okay, come down, come down. I don't even really want to try to even tilt it all the way to that side. Hmm. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know about this. I don't know how I'm 
feeling? Don't know. Take some of what I try to catch and see if I can get it to be here. Just trying to get this corner together. pretty though actually now that it's all coming together let me bring that back down hmm. all right i don't want to move it around too much more i'm just gonna set it down and see if i can work it i'm getting these edges covered but um not a bad job of getting the edges covered I think next time I will use more of that um, pinky color because I just feel like that would look so trying to cover these edges. Oh man. I like it. I think it's pretty. I think it is pretty. Let me torture it again. Just to see if that gives us so, okay. Not really going anywhere. Alright, it's not doing nothing, so. I do like it. It's pretty. It's very pretty. I like it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to go ahead and do another pour with the same colors and just refill these that I ran out of. So, let me know what you thought about this color scheme. Comment below if you thought it was a yay or a nay. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.